Hi everybody, Lorraine here. What is this? This is a diffuser for a hair dryer that I found in my cupboard. It's got some really interesting holes in it. It's got a little bit of a dome on the inside here. And just out of curiosity, I thought Let's see what happens if we pour paint through it. I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do a layered cup and pour it through and see what happens. So let me get my stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, so pulled out some colors here. I have a Master's Touch Light Magenta. I have an orange. Um, this is an emerald green. This is a lighter green, um, green blue. It's called Viridian by Master Stutch. And I have some primary red mixed up. I don't know how these colors are going to look together. They kind of look nice sitting next to each other, but we'll see. Um, some white. I also have some pearl white I might put in there just for a little bit of a sparkle. So let's think here. I think I'll start by putting a little bit of the pearl down first in my cup. Well, with the emerald. Some of the orange. Don't know why I want orange in there, but Something about it just seems right. Some of this Viridian. Ooh, got a little messy with that. Um, just a touch of red. Red is not one of my favorite colors. It takes over everything. Um, I don't think I put any of my light magenta in there. A little more of the pearl. This is at an 11 by 14 canvas. That I have. I'm going to use up what's left of this turquoise because there's only a touch left in my cup. Okay, that's mixed up. I'm going to start with a puddle white. canvas. Spread it out a little bit. I have no clue what this is going to turn out like. I'm kind of excited to see. And then there's my diffuser for the hair dryer. If I don't have enough in the cup, I figure I can always add something that's pre-mixed. So here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Kind of an interesting pattern. And like I said, the red is really seeming to take over here. That's okay. It 
is very, very interesting. I see very little of the orange, very little of the pink. Just kind of want to, I'm hoping it will just kind of start spreading a little bit on its own. I'm going to see. Add a little pink here. Not a little. Just trying to see if I can get some of the pink to drip out of each one of these little holes. Add some of the pearl on top. Okay. I'm going to give it a torch. I see a lot of air bubbles in it. I did not put anything in here to create cells. It's just paint, Floetrol, and water. Let's pick it up and see here. Pick it carefully so I can get it straight up. Oh, that's pretty neat. The way that pink and pearl went together there. Interesting. Let's tilt it a little bit. You know, there's way too much paint on there. So we definitely cannot leave that much paint. Trying to maintain that center a little bit, so. Bringing it back before I tip it another direction. Okay, put some white on the edges here. Give it something to cling to. it can move a little more freely. Oh, put a few drips in there. Made myself an edge catcher out of a piece of plastic book cover here. See how that works for me. Try and bring that back to center a little bit. Getting some very interesting lines. that back. There we go. Okay. Try and bring that center back a little bit before I tip to that corner. The pink and the, um, 
the metallic white there, the pearl, look like little roses in the middle. It's pretty interesting. Run that down to this corner. Oh, I kind of like it off to the side like that. I think I might leave it. Oh, no, don't touch that. Okay. Kind of like the way it is uh, off center coming down like that. Like I said, I wasn't sure about those colors together. They're not terribly bright. They're kind of subdued colors around the edge, but it has that nice brightness in the middle. Kind of want to go in with a skewer and bring some of that pink to the center. But I'm a little bit afraid to move it around. Let's see what. Just do. Just. Okay, so I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Get it back to center here. So you can get a good look at it. And I will. Sorry, I didn't realize that was in the way. I'll bring the camera down so you can get a close up look. There's some really interesting lines in here. Okay, so here we have it. I'm going to call this my hair diffuser experiment. Get in closer, take a look. Not sure what to think of it myself. It's got some very interesting lines in it. And then up. And zoom you back out here. Well, there we have it. Interesting outcome. I hope you like my videos. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. And thanks again. Bye.